What Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. We're on a mission. Yeah, let's just keep it on the DL. But I am talking about it. Oh, okay, I know what he's setting up. Creatures born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. Go on. So, I normally hate things like organisms that like absorb force powers or whatever. Or force sensitive rocks. Those are offensive to me. But the idea of a beast that like, you know, this more primal thing is like got a taste for it. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, the inborn resistance to the force is stupid, but that they uh, that they use like force sensitivity as uh, a hunting sense is interesting. But... Okay. So keep your eyes peeled. These creatures are woke. Yeah. Yeah, so the great hunt... Um, is the story of how I think three Jedi all go missing and scattered some really sweet loot across the galaxy. So that's that's the real takeaway. All right. Previously feared it was a bug, but perhaps. Yeah, we're back in business, baby. All right. Um, we're actually gonna go to Yavin first. Oh yeah, exposition. I'm coming up here and I'm cranky. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. Why did he walk to you for that report from you? Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? The MacGuffin's a person. She was made Nasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord yeah, I know we saw him get crushed during a bombardment. Hello, Lord, a bounty hunter was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently they left him for dead. Also, but you shot him with a... Hero. Yeah. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? Hmm. I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. There we go. He's probably talking about T3 and 4. I wonder if I made that joke all those years ago. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, we're at Yavin. Now there is one really useful thing to do here. Oh. Oh. Something's not right. Nobody knows about it. Okay. Yeah, you were checking out the food stores alright. Okay, well, let's go... let's go run this down while we're at it. Not exactly sure where the food stores are, but it's a small ship. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
all looks good. We'll be running, running around aimlessly for a while. There we go. Maybe you should run around. You got it. Although I really don't know how you could stay hidden on here for long. This calls for force speed. Mm, probably a little early for that. That's my pitter-patter sound. Uh, comment section, feel free to type out your onomatopoeias for your preferred pitter-patter sound. Behind me? Aha! Kipuna, bona na kichu. That's not what you said. Selima wanga kumbikin. Uh, yeah. Oh, I get used to hearing that. As her geometry clashes. Alright. Uh, um. Okay. Sasha. Wabasusa Sasha. All right, let's see what we can do here. I think this is called a pigeon language. I mostly remember that because uh, I got a qu question wrong on an anthropology test, and that was the answer. Didn't know that one until about five minutes after the test. Man, Lorraine. Okay, she doesn't like them. Okay, she's S1. She's hiding. No S1 is hide. Selima wanga kumbikin. Ristag. Dong abuk shami no nok. That's for. Eh, we'll just say it's a delicious bit of baking. Mucha shakapaga. Ristag is the ship. Dong abuk shami no nok. Dong ki ba non tontek. Kipuna. Bonana. All right, this is her home. Oh, she's seen some things. This was Davik's ship. Okay. Hitting? No abs? Yum sounds like food. Om nom nom. You can have all the yum you want. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. All right, uh, I think we're toast. Now we're stuck on no geese. All right. Okay, that makes sense. She was looking for food. Why do we even bother talking? Mucha shakapaga. 
Tonki ba non tontek. Tell me about. Okay. Would you like to know more? All right, let's see if we can pass our final exam. Dong abuk shami no nok. We can kick you off of this home if you don't mind. But seriously, what we're about to do is probably better if she leaves. We're inevitably going to be captured and tortured. Okay. Um. We're gonna bring the heavy hitters. What? Uh, he's gonna have a couple level ups, I think. Ooh. He do very well with melee equipment. I gotta keep that in mind. Because he's got a 16 strength, which is bonkers. Just bonkers. Um. Yeah, let's... Well, I mean, hey, hit points are great. I think I'm going to uh, train him for melee combat, though. Focus on that for now. Two up in combat probably in the near future. Jeez, look at that two hit. Yes. Five to fourteen. That's in the same ballpark as a normal lightsaber. Normal lightsaber averages eleven damage. He's in the, you know, one point back of that. Hey, man. Um, let's just try not force persuading first. Uh, yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I like this guy a lot, as long as you don't get worked up. I'm a smuggler. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Oh. <laughs> How rude. All right. Too human. Oh, well. Carry a lightsaber and I'm wearing the robes. Oh. Hey, tell me about yourself. I don't care what happened. Okay. Making amazing equipment, if you must know. All right. Uh, this is the good stuff, everybody. Dexterity plus three. Unlimited shields for a droid. Some good stuff. Yeah, and this one's upgradable. It's light. And... The upgrades I seem to recall being pretty good. This is also a really good one. I mean, armor that's light and gives you a dexterity bonus. Thank you very much. Um, I think he plays Pazak as well. All right. Yeah, not right now. So... 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is off camera play him 10 times. <laughs> Save's coming for sure. You can get 750 credits every time. And then he gives you a discount, I think on the 11th time or something. So, um, well, you know what? Let's just, well, saves come to show one. I mean, this is gonna be the full pain of RNG though. So, save. All right, let's try one anyway. Let's play. And yeah, I was reasonably happy with the side deck. I'll throw in a plus six, why not? One, two, three, four, and a low draw. This is as good a start as you're gonna get. All right, I take it back. Yeah. I don't feel bad saves coming because Pazak is not fair since turns don't alternate. Uh, I feel like I have to stand at 18. Back-to-back -back natural 20s. All right. All's fair then. I'm both down one card, I'll take it. Hmm. Well, well played. We popped a card anyway. Alright, sudden death. Cross your fingers, everyone. Come on, ten. Ten! Yay! Some other time. We gotta do this. A few more times. Be right back. That's fine. That's annoying. Oh. Take it in the bum. Please. Ten, ten, ten. Yes. There we go, everybody. Twenty percent off. Now we can afford this stuff. That and with our gambling winnings. Um, I will take the light exoskeleton right now because I think this is a piece of equipment that's pretty much always worth getting. I forget if this one is. Costs less, though. And all of that came at a... Hmm. Gizka are, uh... They're like the bunny rabbits of the Star Wars universe. They breed a lot. And back to the Ebonhawk. Wait. There we go. So that's pretty good. Potential plus 13 defense and strength plus two. And it's light. There's a heavy exoskeleton, but I don't think it's, I don't know, good enough. Go with something like that. I think that moved nowhere. Uh, this is who I was saving it for, because we can get 29 defense on mission, and that's... That's just dandy. That's what it is. Uh, it's a shame about the terrible weapon, but... 29 defense, folks. Yeah, Zalbar. Wonder, can we get him even more damage? We 
can get him another defense point if we do the Bregex Gloves things, which is probably going to be worth it. Zalbar has terrible defense already. Uh, strength Gauntlets for Bastila would be nice. And I mean, we'll just give her something... Something terrible like an adrenaline amplifier. All right. Well, we have a really good piece of equipment. Uh, we don't have like a good melee weapon for mission to use, but that's okay. We'll get there. So how it works is every single time we go to um, Yavin, every time you bring a new piece of the star map, he's got better equipment. Uh, I probably won't check in for a while, but the very last stuff is really good. Let's just zip back to Dantooine quickly. I don't think you can be attacked on the way to Dantooine, but anyway, we can drop off a quest really quickly and then get back on the road. And I'm probably gonna go, uh, you know what? We've got her mission ready to go. We'll go with these two. Okay, good, hello Bastila. I do. How did you know? Yeah. A, a Kinroth pup. It most certainly is not. Yeah, sure. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. We'll my play poker you, sometime. Including whatever my feelings are for you. Uh, I, nice. I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. Nailed it. Uh, I don't want to flirt. I, that is you. Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Yeah. Our connection allows. You need to apologize for that, Drew. Mind. Did you write this? We can feel you need to say what sorry. What feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years. Yeah, just keep bottling it up. Considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. Unless there's a flaw in your training methods. And by the way, the mass exodus might reveal that if you had a shred of humility. Uh, yeah. No, self-control is a maxim for all Jedi. It's what gives us the strength to resist the dark side. All who have fallen from our order have shown a flagrant disregard for such control. All Thankfully, of them? you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. Yeah, it's Bastila. we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however... I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. Okay, well, we thanks. Ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences. Okay. Yes, that is true. That's right, we're a I team. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. So <laughs> this is called subtext. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Well, I'm glad I have someone like you. Uh, okay. No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. Yeah. For now, we should return to our mission. Sure. Uh, I believe Lur Arkasuas is the one we're looking for here. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm pretty sure he's a Jedi. Please tell me he's not a slaver. Kipuna. 
Bona na kichu. Takom juz dach miki grabal mogo. Yeah, we gotta work through this. Yeah, she doesn't want to, uh, she doesn't want to leave her home. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Whoops. And we get light side points for that. I guess because we went through the effort of learning her language and so on. You can just kick her off your ship. But, um, I don't know. She was stealing my food. I feel like... Eh, whatever. We reunited a girl with her family, and that's a good thing. Alright, I think we'll do Kashyyyk first. I think the game is kind of rigged, so you want to do it that way. Uh, this is a nightmarish vision of where we will find the star map on Kashyyyk. Or Kashyyyk is how it's supposed to be pronounced, trust me. Yeah. Kashyyyk is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. Watch your language. I would have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. Um, just thinking for a minute. They mentioned there was the life seal and the death seal, and they mentioned an arboreal world. I mean, uh, this would make the cut. Desert was in the death giving world, and grassland would be Dantooine. Oceanic would be in Manan, Baron, I guess, would be Korriban, and we'll find out about the temperate one, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's just interesting they mapped so closely. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. Well, no, no point in talking to anyone. Once we discover the star map's location. Well, yeah, we're discerning the location. <sighs> Whatever. I'm looking for a map. No doubt we'll know exactly what to do once we've found it. All right, let's take, uh, we'll go with Bastila for now, and I really should have Zalbar. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're getting the team back together. No, we'll go with Bastila, because I am afraid. <laughs> I don't have a ton of force points. we got to be a little careful. Okay. Yeah, why do I need to pay that? Can't I just normally persuade? Alright, well... I'm not giving... Should not be used for profit and yeah, but screw Zerka Corporation! Jedi, we should be above such things. Shut up! Yeah. Well, I understand it. Alright, I'm glad I didn't get dark side points, because that would have been ridiculous. They're like... The Hitler of corporations. All right, for Zalbar, uh, he's got a two-handed weapon, and I kind of want to keep it that way. Um, a case could be made. Yeah, dexterity is what he desperately needs. A case could be made that you should just try increasing his defense, like no matter what. I'm not going to argue it. <laughs> At all. I really want to get one more feet on him. Nope. Uh, if we had better implants, we could, you know, do more for him, but it'll have to do. 13 defense. What? He's basically just taking every single attack. You know what? Sometimes there's a treasure chest around the ship. Let's do a quick peek. Hello, photo. Were you in a band? Yeah, 
Uh, no. If you're not selling me something, I do not care. I'm mostly interested in finding lightsaber crystals. It is my motivation for most of the game. Didn't work. Oh. Uh, let's check the feedback on this. No, you know what? Next time, we'll check the feedback on this. I'll see you there, folks.